hi guys today i would like to discuss about one general problem that we usually face while doing active scan using burp suite in general uh, when we are scanning any kind of web applications in the middle of this scan suddenly the session will be log out uh, suppose if the application is using any kind of jwt tokens if it has some expiration like one hour suppose our scan is taking 10 hours to completely crawl and do the active scan then in the middle of the scan after one hour it got expired the token will get expired so if it get expired then we may not receive any fruitful vulnerabilities are the few fruitful results from the scan so to avoid this kind of situation we have one beautiful extension called authentication token obtain and replace uh, suppose if you are doing the scan after one hour it is uh, the token will get expired then what it will do is uh, it will regenerate the access token and uh, it will continue the scan with that newly generated access token let's see the demo how we can use this uh, extension and how we can overcome this kind of problem for the demonstration purpose i am using ports figure lab so first of all you need to fire the bar and later you need to capture this traffic uh, through bar and here if you go to extensions uh, if you type authentication token then this extension will coming up you have to install it i already installed it and uh, it looks like this uh, now let me use the application of ports figure uh, let me log in see it is logging in if you see there is a login call where i am passing my username and password and after that it is giving me the status of 302 found and it is generating me the access token this token will use it for session management so let me send it to repeater and after that if i click on my account it is hitting this endpoint and if you see here for this end it is authenticated endpoint and whatever the token that we have generated it is being transferred here in cookie header and uh, it is giving me the result of your username is this one your email is this one okay let me also send it to repeater so if you see here for generating uh, multiple access tokens we can use this uh, login so whenever we are hitting the username and password it is generating one access token and if I place that access token here, I will get the response like this. So uh, let's suppose think that this access token is being expired. Uh, what is the error message that we can observe? Observe. Let's see that. I am intentionally uh, removing some uh, string from the access token in order to make it unauthorized let me send this request here it is stating me 302 found and it is asking me to redirect to slash login so it is redirecting to slash login page so uh, when you are doing any active scans if this token is being expired then immediately it will give us this kind of errors so this is the error condition now I want to send this error condition to this one not all perp extension error condition 
so here in this error condition i am telling this okay uh, whenever whenever when this at all has to trigger so i am giving the condition that whenever there is a status code of 302 then uh, this uh, at all will trigger and it has to uh, act, uh, it has to send the login again and it has to get the new access token so i am adding this conditions so one important thing is here here these people are using 302 found uh, for incorrect access token but in general what other applications uses is they will use 401 unauthorized so depend on the error condition you have to set the status code so for this application it is using 302 but in general very common most of the applications use only 401 those kind of uh, uh, status codes anything related to 4xx those kind of status codes so for the demonstration since i'm using this application i'm adding this condition so here i have added this condition at or will trigger if status code is this one so the next thing i have to add uh, the request which gives me new access token if you see the repeater it will give me the new access token right so i need to send it to uh, uptime token so here i am sending it see whenever the status code is 302 it has to trigger this request to get new access token and uh, further scan will do based on this access token so I need to select right uh, from where it has to get the access token. So let me select it. So from here you can uh, get the access token. Okay, here I can click from select. So it will write the uh, rule like from which point to which point it should copy the access token. See the start string should be this one and it will take this one and uh, the stop string would be this one and i am just naming it as replace token and i want to add it see i have added it so here uh, it is asking error condition replacement so since i'll get the uh, access token from the previous request where should i place that access token in the request see it has to place it here right it has to place in this position so i will select this position so whatever the new access token that you are getting it has to place here in the request so here it is stating start string session equal to eyl and new token place in this place it should be replaced and extraction name replace token so the token which i mentioned should be replaced here so here i am adding this and the last step would be the preview here i can see whether uh, it is whenever the 302 is uh, getting triggered whether it is replacing with the new access token or not before that i would like to show you in the settings you can see on which tabs this rule should be applied i am applied on repeater scanner spider intruder sequencer everything so let me run the test uh, here there is a original request uh, with incorrect access token and it is giving me you should be a uh, login right so after that actually since this one is triggered it is generating new access token like this so after it is generating new access token it should replace this new access token here and after that it should send the request see in the first phase it is giving me you have to log in but whenever i am generating new access token like this from the second request 
and by placing that same access token here it is not giving me 302 it is giving me 200 okay see like this we can overcome this kind of uh, auto expiry of this session while doing the scanning using this extension uh, for example if you since i applied uh, the rule to a uh, repeater as well i will show you here practically see it is incorrected right incorrected access token and it is giving me this if i resend this request it should give me 200 okay right since the rule will trigger and it will replace yes it is giving me 200 okay and it is giving me this results so in this way you can able to avoid this kind of auto expiration while doing the active scan and burp sweep thank you guys